Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Kotze from Evergreen Orthopedics. The more you understand about a shoulder replacement and why you're having the replacement, the better chance you have of getting an excellent result. So let's first start with explaining what is shoulder arthritis and how a shoulder replacement is going to help you. So shoulder arthritis is a problem when you lose the cartilage inside the shoulder joint. The cartilage is what helps you move the joint up and down a thousand times a day without any pain. When you start to lose the cartilage there, you start to get bone spurs, you start to get cysts in the joint, and those things can cause pain in your shoulder whenever you try and reach up above your shoulder, whenever you try and sleep at night, and whenever you try and reach behind your back. So when physical therapy, activity modification, and medications don't help relieve your pain, then a shoulder replacement can really make a big difference uh, in your daily life. So let's talk about what shoulder replacement is. So here is an example of two different shoulder replacements. This here shows you how we replace the joint by putting a piece of plastic on the cup of the shoulder and putting a piece of metal where the ball is. And when those two mate, they move nice and smooth and they don't cause pain and they allow you to sleep better at night and allow you to reach up with that arm better at night. Now, this replacement is called an anatomic shoulder replacement. And it's anatomic because the relationship of the cup and the ball stays the same. For some patients who have a tear of their rotator cuff tendon, an anatomic replacement does not work very well. And so instead what we use is a reverse shoulder replacement. And it's called a reverse because the ball and the cup are flipped around compared to an anatomic replacement. This replacement allows your arm to rotate up like this and raise your arm up above your head when your rotator cuff tendon does not work. Most of the time, we can anticipate whether you have a rotator cuff tear before your surgery. But sometimes when we get into your surgery and into your shoulder, we find a surprise and find a tear of your rotator cuff tendon. And instead of doing the anatomic replacement, we need to change plans and do a reverse. So you should always be prepared to have either an anatomic or a reverse replacement done uh, depending on what we find during your surgery. Both replacements do a very good job at relieving your pain and improving your function. Some patients before their surgery can't even raise their arm higher than this. And after we do the replacement, you can raise your arm above your shoulder so you can touch the top of your head, reach up into the cupboards, and do normal daily things like get dressed without pain. There are some differences between a reverse replacement and an anatomic replacement. While both can help relieve your pain and improve your function, a reverse replacement makes it a little more difficult to reach behind your back. It also has a different set of problems afterwards that can occur. So the complications that can occur are that the ball and the cup can dislocate. This happens more commonly than in an anatomic replacement, but luckily it's still a pretty rare complication. Another thing that can occur with the reverse is sometimes you can get a stress fracture uh, from the bones around your shoulder because they see increased stress after your replacement. That is still a rare event, but it is possible to occur. In an anatomic replacement, one of the problems that can happen that usually doesn't happen with the, with the reverse is that you can have a tear of your rotator cuff tendon that occurs after the replacement, or sometimes a few years later. If this occurs, then there are treatments that can help you to make it better. So now that you know what types of replacement can be done to help you relieve your pain, let's talk more about getting you prepared for the surgery itself. Now that you understand what shoulder arthritis is and how a shoulder replacement is going to help relieve your pain and 
improve your function, let's talk about the steps you need to go through to prepare for surgery. The first step is your preoperative visit. That is when you come to the office and we go over everything to make sure that you're prepared for your surgery. You are going to be fitted for a brace that you're going to wear after your surgery. I want you to take that brace home and practice putting it on and off so you know how to do it and you're comfortable doing it. And then you bring that brace to your surgery and we will put it on you in the recovery room. The next thing that I highly recommend is that you purchase an ice machine. An ice machine will help you keep your shoulder cool after your surgery which will help improve your pain and decrease the amount of pain meds you have to take after your surgery. The ice machine is a thermos that you put ice water in and it'll help pump ice water around your shoulder with a pad that goes around your shoulder. And this will really help your experience after surgery and help your pain. The other thing that we do is get your pain medications prescribed. We usually use multiple medications uh, which include anti-inflammatories and a narcotic medication. So we will send these medicines to your pharmacy and we want you to pick up those medications and put them in a safe place in your house so that they will be ready for you to use after your surgery when you come home. The other thing we will be doing is getting some labs and an EKG to make sure that you are ready to have anesthesia and to have surgery. The last thing you'll have done is we will take a nasal swab and send it to the lab to make sure that you don't have any bad bacteria in your nose. If you do, I will prescribe you some antibiotics to put in your nose before your surgery because the last thing we want is for some bad bacteria there to go and migrate to your shoulder replacement and give you an infection. After your preoperative visit, you will be then prepared to have your surgery done. The day of your surgery, you will show up to the pre-op check-in area in the hospital. There you will check in and the nurses will take you to the preoperative area and get you prepared for your surgery. This will include getting you into a gown, going over all the medications that you use and that you have stopped before your surgery. They will also give you an IV before your surgery. This will allow us to give you the medications uh, to make you comfortable and give you the anesthesia for your surgery. I will see you in the preoperative area along with the anesthesiologist. They will describe what kind of anesthesia you will get. Just before your surgery, your family will be able to go to the waiting room where they can wait for you uh, when the surgery is done. And I will speak to them after your surgery is complete and let them know how everything went. After your surgery, you will go to the recovery room. There, the nurses will give you medications to make you feel comfortable. We'll take an x-ray to make sure that the replacement looks excellent, like we expect it to. And then once you're comfortable and your vitals are okay, we will send you up to your room in the hospital where you can recover and get something to eat. You will stay in the hospital overnight. And the next day, the physical therapist and the occupational therapist will work with you to show you the exercises that you need to do. They will also make sure that you're able to get in and out of bed with your sling. Most patients will be able to go home the day after their surgery. If for some reason you become nauseated, you're unable to eat, uh, or your pain is not controlled, we will keep you in the hospital until you are safe to go home. Next, let's talk about the recovery after your shoulder replacement. If you have an anatomic replacement, you will most likely go home the day after your surgery, and you'll be in a brace for six weeks after your surgery. You won't be able to do any reaching or pulling or lifting with that arm for six weeks. That's because we want all the tendons around your shoulder to heal well. After six weeks, we get you out of the sling and you're able to move the arm in different locations, reach up above your head, but you still are only able to lift one pound or a coffee cup with that arm. Then 10 weeks after your surgery, 
we can have you start lifting weights and start doing some strengthening exercises so that you can do more with your arm. Most people by about three to four months are able to do simple activities, even do things like swing um, a small golf club, like a pitching wedge, um, and lift about five pounds up into the refrigerator. To be more active with that arm and do more heavy lifting, it usually takes about six months to get back to your sport, such as swimming. Things like fishing or shooting, uh, hunting, those things can also be done, but a lot of that just depends on when you get your strength back. Remember, you haven't been using your shoulder normally for a long time because of the arthritis. And so it takes a while to build back your endurance and your strength in your arm, even though the joint works really well. And it can take up to a full year to feel like your shoulder is close to 100%. The rehabilitation after a reverse total shoulder is slightly different than an anatomic. You only have to be in a sling for two weeks after your surgery. But even after two weeks, we don't allow you to use it normally. You can come out of the sling after two weeks. You can reach with that arm. You can eat with that arm. You can lift a coffee cup with that arm. The main goal after you come out of the sling is to stretch your shoulder. And your therapist uh, will teach you how to stretch your shoulder. I will also teach you some basic exercises in the office. And if you can do those exercises, you won't even need to see a therapist. After about six weeks, we allow you to lift a few pounds with that arm. And by about three months after your surgery, you can start lifting things into the cupboard like dishes. You can lift five pounds up overhead and lift light things into the refrigerator. You'd also be able to do things like play golf, maybe four months after your surgery. By six months, you'll have most of your recovery, and you'll be very happy with the amount of weight that you can lift with that arm and reach up above your shoulder. Typically, though, we don't like you to do heavy things with your arm, more than 15 pounds. We also don't like you to do high impact activity, like digging into the ground, chopping wood, because those things can cause some injury to your replacement if it's done too much. We want this replacement to last you 10 to 15 years without any problems. So the more you treat it well, the longer it's going to last.